6 past 7, so we're pretty damn on time. Alright, Night of Mirror is gonna be the first game of today. The semi-finals, of course, of the Zodiac Christmas Cup. As I said a bunch of times before. In the bottom right, we have starting from... That's a weird angle. Wait a minute, what's the other? Uh, this one. Ah, doesn't look much better. We have starting Star Shaped from Clan Deutschlands Kranke Horde. Very traditional, very prestigious clan. Well, traditional at the very least. Hailing from the Swedish Kingdom, and in the top left we have Sonic, of course, also a Night Elf player. And I'm pretty damn sure he's Ukrainian. I may be terribly failing, and he's in fact. Uh, Russian, but I do think he's Ukrainian. He was at WCA, one of the few Europeans that had been invited and or uh, qualified. Didn't really come far there, but in this tournament, in the Zodiac Cup, he managed to get out of group stage to defeat his opponent in the quarterfinals and now is in the semifinals against another Night Elf player. Against Star Shaped. We're gonna, of, c of course, be seeing. Not Double Demon Hunter. I forgot for a second. This is Star Shaped, guys. I don't know if you are very familiar with him. Star Shaped loves Huntresses. That's the reason why War Chief Rich's Smurf account is called Huntress Shaped. Because he's kind of making fun of Star Shaped a little bit, but all in good humor. You know, they they both are friends and. They like each other, as far as I can tell, at the very least. And he always goes Huntresses. He goes Huntresses against Human, against uh, Undead, in Night of Mirror, and I think also against Orc. I haven't seen him play against Orc in a long time, though. But I would suppose he's going Huntress. I mean, it's like, it's his trademark build. And there is what you need for the Huntresses. The Hunter's Hall on Tier 1. And he's probably gonna be staying tier 1 for a long time to get out those huntresses and with his aura, the true shot aura that gives bonus damage to ranged units it's very effective once you have gathered a large number or a large army Demon Hunter running over to scout and the Priestess of the Moon which uh, we see very rarely nowadays doing the same let's see whose harassment is gonna be more effective there's one wisp over here from star shaped and this engine of war is definitely going to be cancelled especially with the clause of a attack plus six the interesting thing right here is going to be when star shape going to be attacking is he going to be expanding when is he going to be expanding is he going to be transitioning or is he going to stay with huntresses and maybe mercenaries and yeah here we have wait a minute star shape is building a moon well here that's very unusual the archer is trying to get rid of it but of course one archer doesn't have the greatest damage output. At the same time Demon Hunter dealing as much damage as he can, of course getting the perfect scout, no tech initiated just yet. Oh, this wisp dies unfortunately, that's the close of attack plus six right there, only takes three swipes. That one gets saved. Player's forces are under attack. And the Priestess of the Moon, I don't know, no she has not yet killed anything because that one creep spot gives one 88 HP, uh, XP, excuse me. The Demon Hunter, as we just saw, got that one wisp, yeah. Pretty... not necessarily defensive early game, but not heavy commitment just yet from any of these players. Just kind of feeling each other out, scouting the opponent base and seeing what you can get. And now the first encounter of the two heroes of this game. And of course Demon Hunter is going to be way superior. But the Priest of the Moon can hide in Shadow Meld. An ability available to all n female Night Elf units. Well, actually, that's not true. Dryads can't do it, the I don't think. I guess you have to be an actual Dryads Night Elf and not have animal, have Night Elf. <laughs> I'm not too sure. But I don't think Dryads can do it. Huntresses and Archers and Priests of the Moon and Warden, however, can. As you guys surely know. And here's a double engine of war. This is star shaped trademark mass hunts. And as I said before, interesting thing is going to be when's he going to be teching? Is he going to be teching uh, if all? If at all? And perhaps an expansion, mercenary support. And that's surely what Sonic is going to be uh, looking out for. Question is is he going to be teching to tier 3 himself? There's an ancient protector. 
trying to fend off any pressure that may come. Ancient Protector, I think the worst of all towers, but against unarmored units it's still pretty good. And Demon Hunter. I think he's positioning himself in his opponent's base, not really to deal damage, but just to prevent any damage being dealt to his own base while he is in tech. And look at this, he cannot really fight head on. He just wants to keep Star Shape busy, as far as I can tell. And of course, with the boots of speed, he's very, very uh, agile and can get across the map quickly. And what I, ju I didn't mention yet, uh, actually, is also Huntresses for Sonic, so he is respecting the early pressure and does not want to try to hold off with only Archers. He got two Hunts and of course the early Hunter's Hall for that. So that's a quite an investment he made into defense. And here comes the aggression from Starshape. We were wondering when it was gonna come and it is now with, uh, what's this, six Huntresses with zero, zero upgrades. One zero is on the way. Hunter's Hall was uh, upgrading earlier, but I guess it was uh, Ultra Vision. And there's a Pandaren Brewmaster. Decent against Huntresses, but not as amazing as against Archers, Ghouls, Footmen, all that kind of stuff. But it's also very tanky, and that's what you want to have uh, against Huntresses. Something to tank in the front lines. Because, of course, they're all A-clicking. You don't really focus fire with them and then you can just lay, let someone tanky stand in front and uh, yeah, tank a lot of hits for the rest of the army. Is he gonna be attacking tier 3 or is he not? There's one Ancient of Lore. If he goes double, I guess he's not gonna be attacking. He's uh, saving a bit of money right now, so probably attack coming. And then bears and this is the time where Sonic needs to stabilize and not take too much damage and also Star Shape on the other hand should be trying to get ahead right now I feel at the very least first breath of fire hits three huntresses right there all oh, priests of the moon in a bit of a ba bad position and of course she does not have boots of speed so this demon hunter can run her down but this should be enough to block the demon hunter bit of sloppy micro right there by the swede but he, she will be fast enough to get back to the moon was to save her in time and these three hunts without a bottom can't do much against this base defense. One just barely surviving. I would like to uh, see this demon hunter try to get this one huntress. But he does not seem to uh, be thinking of that right now. Nice splitting here by Star Shaped. Being aware of the situation. And still tier 1. And there's no expansion here. This is a ticking time bomb for Star Shaped. He has two glaive throwers to increase the pressure but he needs to get going and get going soon tier 2 still for the Ukrainian level 1 panda with a ring I actually like that item I think armor is a bit underrated in general especially uh, as long as you're below like 5 armor later on of course there will be diminishing returns as we have learned from so many RPG games Level 2 now, and a creep jack from Starshaven. This may be the opportunity. He's been looking for two archers dead right off the bat without any retaliation. Three archers have fallen. Nice splitting here. Four huntresses to the south, and another few with a main army to the north. Level 3 right now. Level 2 true shot aura is what that means. And I don't think he's lost a huntress just yet. May have. This corpse may be a huntress. But two glaive throwers were a bit out of position. And of course, the demon hunter. When there are few units um, left behind or out of position, Team Hunter very good at picking them off. And of course, Glaive Throwers are very, very vulnerable. What do they have? 375 HP or something? Two more Glaive Throwers coming. How much supply do we have oh, for Star Shaped? Only 50. I think he would prefer to be an upkeep already to have a dominating uh, army size. That was a horrible breath of fire it didn't hit every anything I don't think but slowly but surely these hunters are getting hurt scroll of healing nice usage heals them up in time 300 HP only on the glaive throws by the way another huntress dies to a fall right here archer in return but archers is what Sonic is uh, gladly gonna be trading here just to be saving time and getting more time for, well, not tier 3, but for more dryers at the very least. And here comes the TP out from Star Shaped. His aggression has not yet paid off. 
And Sonic, I would say, has held fairly easily, despite this one creep jack that looked atrociously bad for him. He has held on quite well. We have now 41 supply for the aggressive Huntress player. Against 38 with 600 gold until a second ago. Does he now feel safe enough to start taking to tier 3? Or does he want to go up to 50 supply to just make sure to be on the safe side of things? Almost level 3 Demon Hunter. In this matchup, the mana burn is pretty... Not useless, but a lot worse than it normally is. So perhaps he's gonna get level 2 evasion? I think it's worth considering at the very least. Panda also gonna be hi hitting level 3. These here level ups are gonna be so important. Double level 3 for Sonic, but another creep check from Starshape being very aware of the map movement. Oh, a nice Drunken Ace Breath of Fire finally. Even though Sonic has been holding on quite well even without him hitting uh, the gold, so to say. But again, this creep jack is costing quite a few archers, but here is the real threat. The archers are not the biggest threat. This is him, the demon hunter, and of course on the other side the Pandaren Brewmaster. And he's not trying to go for hero kills at all. He's trying to go for the units. He is now level 4 with a level 2 searing arrows. But these two heroes of Sonic, they have just seemed absolutely untouchable so far. Now, the panda taking a bit of damage. Use a mana burn. I want to see how much it burns. 100, alright. He did not level uh, evasion. Now, Pardon needs to be careful. Is slowed, is healed with the heal scroll. Still slowed. But the demon hunter can't catch up, or can he? Healing potion used on the demon. Is this the kill? Is this the kill on the bottom? I think it may just be one more hit. One more hit. He gets it. Pardon dies. Level 4 hero. He may still have an army. But without a hero, any game of Warcraft is really hard. And there's still this demon hunter and panda alive. Very hurt, however. Let's take a look at the supply real quick. 33 supply against 38. Looking really, really grim now for Starshape. He's gonna try his best though. Is he gonna survive, uh, revive at the tavern? Or is it gonna be an ultra uh, revive? It's gonna be revived at the tavern. No mana for the bottom. But that's not that important for her. Of course, her biggest strength is the aura. One one huntresses, by the way, against zero zero on the dryads. One zero on the archers. Nice staff out from the demon hunter. Heals up. Not full though, because the moonrise are pretty drained and will be coming back shortly. This breath of fire hits everything, and he has mana for one more combo if he waits for the cooldown. No staff though on the demon hunter. Maybe he needs to be careful with the panda now. Another breath of fire kills two dry uh, 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 huntresses. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm tripping over my own words towards the end there. Starshape tried to put Sonic under enough pressure with his mass hunts to finally break him, but Sonic held valiantly and uh, beat the unorthodox with the standard. Very action-packed game, though. I definitely enjoyed it. Alright, that was the first...